Hey everybody, welcome back to Bob Key TV Stage 3. Perry Nice joined in the commentary booth with the inimitable partner of all partners, host with the most, Paul Sherwin. <laughs> Jonathan, you're crazy! You're crazy! <laughs> Jonathan Iver, the man of the hour. How about a French guy winning a hard stage, Paul? Pretty impressive. I thought it was very impressive, and he played a very good tactical game as well. And he really did have the advantage, though, because, you know, he knew that Luis Leon Sanchez wanted to get as much time as possible. So, you know, it's funny how the game works out sometimes. The game worked out in favor of Iver against Remy Di Gregorio. Di Gregorio put in a couple of attacks that probably would have won him the stage if Luis Leon Sanchez was not going for the yellow jersey. But Luis did the control of the tempo, and Iver came around Luis Leon Sanchez rather handily in the finish. Walter Poles, bad luck, flat tire, last climb, recuperated, got back in the field. Arno DeMar was very impressive, um, being able to catch the attacking Julian Alaphilippe and a pretty big group to finish fourth on the stage, leading the pursuers, but he did lose his yellow jersey to Luis Leon Sanchez. Tomorrow's going to be interesting. Uh, today was a good stage, transitional, but tomorrow is a big rendezvous uh, for the overall, eventual overall win in Paris Nice because it's an 18.5-kilometer time trial, and no, you, no time trialing specialist, that's for sure, in this year's Paris Nice. And amongst the GC riders... They are, generally speaking, guys that lose a lot of time in the time trials in the Grand Tours. Um, there's everything to play for in Paris Nice. Julian Alaphilippe looked strong, obviously. Jakob Fuglsang looked very strong. Lillian Kalmijan looked very strong. Uh, a shame TJ Van Garderen won't be competing in the time trial tomorrow. He'd be a hot favorite compared to all of his rivals. Simon Yates, not a great time trialist. Esteban Chavez really struggles in the time trial. Walter Poles, Sergio Heinau. And looking at the riders in the world championships from last fall in the time trial, <laughs> Ilner Zacharin, of all people, who also struggles in the time trials, was the best place rider in this year's Perry Nice field from last year's world championships, if that's any indication. He finished 15th and could not find a single guy in the top 30 of last year's worlds that's in this year's Perry Nice. So I'm not even going to predict who is going to do well amongst our GC contenders after tomorrow's stage, except to say that Luis Leon Sanchez will keep his leader's jersey at least through the time trial. He is solid against the clock, tremendous amount of incentive this year especially, uh, he's won Perry Nice in the past, but he got to go all the way back nine years to 2009. Um, and it's going to be a great stage to watch. It's going to be very, very interesting to see who gets a big advantage before the big mountain stages to, cl to come on the final weekend of Perry Nice. Great stage today. Tomorrow should be very intriguing. And the climbers that are on good form will do a big time trial tomorrow and give themselves a huge advantage for the rest of the race. Sergio Hinal, the defending champion, going to be very interesting to see how well he goes in the individual time trial tomorrow. Stay tuned. I recommend you watch that, and don't depend on these recaps from me. <laughs> and NBC will be bringing you all the action from the time trial tomorrow. And uh, thank you to Paul Sherwin for joining me on this episode of Bob Key TV. All right, everybody, until tomorrow.